back to another video on your boy Duffel's channel. Today we have a very special video that you guys have been waiting for. I've been being asked about it. It's go time now. I want to show you everything that I have in the bag from 2019 to 2020. All right, so let's start with the actual bag here, okay? We got a vessel bag right here, a nice stand bag, beautifully white. I've been using it since 2018, so it's starting to get kind of beat up, but this is my go-to bag. I travel with it. Um, if, you, if you play around with me, this is the bag that I will have at all times. So I want to just show love to Vessel real quick, and I'm going to move this to the side. So the main question is that I get, you know, being tall, 6'3", or whatever, um, is are, are your clubs longer? Are your clubs shorter? So I'm going to just let you guys know right now that all my irons are cut one half inch longer than standard. I have long arms. I think my wrist of floor is like 36. So I have a little bit more extra wiggle room in my club so I don't have to hunch over too much. I can stand up. Now, when I get to my driver and I get to my three wood and sometimes my hybrid and my, um, my five wood that I sometimes keep in my bag, I cut those shorter because my arms are long. So I wanna be able to load the club properly uh, shout out to Tony Fee now for those uh, for those nice tips. Uh, you know he's we're, the, we're basically the same height, so I asked him about those tips, and ever since he gave me those tips, they have been great. So we're gonna start off with my driver, baby, the big dog, the Callaway Rogue. This came out in 2018. Um, I've been gaming it ever since. Tried the Maverick, tried the Epic Flash. I didn't really like it. Um, this club, you know, just works well with my eye. It's big, it looks forgiving, it looks easy to hit. Um, when you put it down to a dress, it looks like it's a little closed, and that's what I need. Um, my miss has been a block right for a long time, and you know, when you have a club that doesn't look like it's open right, you don't feel like you're gonna block it, or at least I don't. So that's my driver and the shaft. I got the Fujikura Speeder 661, um, 661 Tour X Stiff right there. Bam, this is a murderous, monstrous tank of a shaft. This thing is, the shaft is money on this thing. So that's my driver. We're gonna go to the three wood right here. You guys know me, I am money with this baby. This is my puppy right here, I love this. You know, this is what's going with me everywhere I go. This is the Epic Flash three wood right here, okay? Um, I've had the Rogue. Um, I didn't hit the Maverick because I like this so much. I didn't even get another one. Um, I've just been sticking to this. And this, I also have a Fujikira Speeder, but this is a 757. Um, so we are going up from a 60 gram to a 70 gram right here um, in the three wood right here. I love this club, this shaft. The combination is perfect. Obviously, I got that Golf Iconics head cover. I got that Kobe, um, you know, Kobe's life, obviously, he was an inspiration to a lot of people. He motivated a lot of people. Um, so just keeping him in my bag on my driver and my three wood, it just keeps me um, reminded that, you know what I'm saying, you gotta work hard. If you want that thing to get down to 75, 72, you gotta keep working, you gotta grind. You might have to wake up at 3 a.m. and work on your putting. That's Kobe right there. So I keep Kobe right there close to the vest and that's everything right there. So I just wanted to make sure I threw that in there before I forgot. So when we get down to the irons here, we're gonna go to utility. We got the utility, the Callaway X4's utility, three and four irons. So the three irons, 21 degrees, four iron is 24 degrees. You know, I, I know some friends, I got some friends out there that say a two iron is 21 degrees. It's not. This is a three iron right here. As you can see, bam, we got that 21 degrees, probably upside down, but whatever. We got the four iron right there. 24 degrees, bam. So the shafts I got in these, shout out to my girl Lindsay down in uh, Fort Worth at uh, UST Mamiya. I got the Recoil Prototype Utility 110 X Stiff. Um, I love these shafts, these shafts are good. I can get a good load in these shafts right here. So these are my utilities. Um, obviously I use the three iron off the tee. Um, I don't really have too many long, like 240, 250 yard shots because your boy bombs the drives, but Sometimes I can get caught on a par five where I'm out of range and I need to hit like a shot that I, I can just run up to the green and uh, you know get a good shot in for two for Eagles. And now we go into 
the iron set right here we got the Callaway Apex Pro combo set right here. So we have pitching wedge through the eight, we have Apex Pros, and seven through the five, we have the Apex. So we're gonna talk about the five iron, and then we're gonna go talk about the eight iron. So we got the Apex right here, which is a little bit more forgiving than hitting a pro. Um, and I have it in the KBS Tour C Taper Stiff Plus 125 gram shaft right there. Um, and I use the UST, I use the Lampkin Sonar mid size grip just in case you guys were wondering what grip size. I have size 10 hands. Um, I like mid size. Oversize is a little too big for me. Can't release the club. Um, but I think I don't really have thick hands. I have just like long fingers. So it works well for me, the Lampkin Sonar. So this is what I've been using. Um, I got the silver, I have the black set too, but I gave the silver set right now. I love the silvers. Um, but these are gonna kinda be out of my bag soon because I just went to a special, 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 special place dear to my heart down in Carlsbad and we got fitted for all new stuff. So once that comes, I will do another what's in the bag for you guys then. But right now, this is what we got. So that's five, six, and seven, the Apex which is a little bit more of a player improvement club. Now, Pitcher Wedge 8.9, we have the Apex Pro right here. It's a little thinner, as you can see right there. It's beautiful. I love this club. It kind of gets beat up because I'm playing desert golf a lot. I live in Arizona. So, you know, if you hit that thing out, you got to get it out. It's going to get beat up. I know you're mad at me, baby, but I love you. Mwah. So we got the same shafts, obviously, in here. And now let's get down to the wedges. Let's get down to what makes me the money right here on the golf course. We got the, the Jaws wedges. Uh, shout out to my man, Roger Cleveland down in Callaway, USC Trojan, fight on for life, baby. We got the 50 degree. We got the 50 degree and the S grind right there. 10 degrees of bounce right there. I got my custom Fast Forever logo in there. I got some lead tape in there. Shout out to Anthony Toronto for the Gold State Warrior colors. We got a 54 degree right here, another S, shat, a S grind right there. We love that. This is for my, my 85 to 110, uh, 110 yard shots. Um, my gap wedge, which I just showed you, is like for anything above that, you know, 115, 130. Uh, don't really wanna max it out above 130 unless I have wind behind me. Uh, so if I have my pitching wedge, you know, and there's a lot of wind in my face and it's a 125 yard shot, I'll just hit a smooth pitching wedge down there. So in these shafts right here, this is my uh, 60 degree, my 60 degree X, X grind right there that I had Anthony Toronto um, grind and smoothing out to a C grind for me so I can open the face up a little bit more. Uh, this is pretty much 50 yards and in um, and a close around the green. So sand bunker, uh, Greenside bunker shots, uh, 20 yard shots, 30 yard shots, flop shots, whatever. I'm hitting this 50 yards and in. If it's past 50, I'm taking out my 55 degree right here, my sand wedge. Um, the shafts that I have in these are True Temper Dynamic Golds, S400 shafts. Uh, these shafts are money. I got them in black. Uh, I love these babies. Uh, they just feel good. Uh, I've tried plenty of different wedge shafts. Uh, in my wedges, but these ones just seem to hit home for me. Um, it's a little bit tighter down here. I don't like it when it's stiffer up in the back of the hand. Uh, I like it down here. So this shaft bends a little bit more down here as you saw right there. So I love these shafts right here. Boom. And we get down to the flat stick. Drive for dough, putt for show. Drive for show, putt for the dough. Um, I got the Odyssey O Works Black right here. Boom. Boom. And I got this in the stability shaft right here. It's really dope. It's a really stiff shaft. I got the um, Super Stroke Pistol GT 1.0 grip right here. Um, this thing is money. I love this thing. I've, ha I've had it in my back since 2018. Um, I love this bad boy right here. So. Uh, this is what I'm putting with right now, and this is also going to change as well. So, this is going to leave soon. Okay, so this is my House of Swag putter cover right here. That Chinese food sample right there. It says, thank you, enjoy. 
Y'all know how it is when y'all go get that late night Chinese food right there, man. It shows you all that right there. So that's for my putter. Last but not least, I always gotta keep my son's seven iron with me. Uh, you guys know my son is out here on the course with me all the time. He's been he's made a couple debuts on some of my videos, uh, caddying for me, sleeping, eating snacks, doing all that, laughing at me, giggling. Um, so I love to keep my my son's uh, either his seven iron, his driver, or his putter with me in the bag. Um, I just played golf yesterday, and it was about hole eight. And he was like, "Dad, it's go time." So he got out, took the seven iron out, and he was hitting those things a mile. So I always gotta keep that with me. And a little special, you don't really typically see this on what's in the bag right here, but you know, what's on the feet right here. So I want to bring it up, bring out a little bit of that heat that I have with me when I take out, to, when I go out and play on the golf course. So I got these uh, limited edition waste management 2019's uh, Air Maxes right here. Get an up close and personal look at those babies right there. Boom, I love these shoes, I keep them clean. I got these. Jordan Bread 11s right here. These are very expensive on the aftermarket right now. Can't get these. I got a buddy, uh, my boy Bill. He's always calling me like, just let me hold those. I'll, pair, I'll, I'll wear two pairs of socks. I'm a size 12, but I can wear these. Uh, these are really highly sought after shoes. And another limited edition ex exclusive is these Seamus Golfs right here. These Tour Victories, Nike Tour Victories, customed out by Seamus Golf. These are really sick. I love these. I, I honestly feel like Nike's best shoe are these right here, the two, uh, the Zoom Victories. I think these are Rory's shoe. All right, so we got the hardware out the way. So now we're gonna go inside the bag and we're gonna talk about what I have. So I'm gonna bring the bag back. We got the bag here now. So we're gonna start off with the towel. The towel is the first thing that's hanging out. I got this easy red towel that I got from Band and Dunes to preserve right there, band and preserve. That's the part three course, they had a red towel. I like the color red. So we threw that in there. I've been using this Bushnell right here, this Bushnell Pro XE right there, boom. Zoom in on that, yes sir. This thing is money. I'm a ball tinkerer, you know what I'm saying? I use a lot of different balls. I have used a lot of different balls in the past, but the one that I've ended up settling with is that Callaway Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. I heard that they came out with a new low spin ball, the Chrome Soft XLS. So I will be trying that soon whenever I get that in my hands. But this is what I've been using right here. This ball has a nice spin. I like the way it reacts on the greens. Um, it's not really like skip, 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 stop. It's more of just one hop stop, like one big bounce stop. And I really like that because a lot of my wet shots, they're not really low trajectory. I keep them kind of high. I like to come in soft there. So. Also over here to the side, I got my Malbon golf. Shout out to my man Steven Malbon right there. I got my Beats, my Beats sound system right here. This thing keeps me rocking on the golf course, baby. I keep this Rap Soto uh, launch monitor with me at all times. Uh, you guys know I travel a lot to play. Um, this is plug and play. It's easy. You just connect your phone to it via Bluetooth, and then it gives you really close pin. I mean, really close sharp distances. Um, I've done it next to a track man and it's only like three to four yards off. And for a guy like me, who's an amateur, that's perfect. This is really cheap. You know, the track mans are $20,000. I know a lot of people just like myself, you're like, man, I want a track man. I want to get my numbers. I want to be able to hit golf balls on the simulator. Um, but you know, 15, 10, 10,000, 50,000, 5,000, you know, that's out of the, our range that we want to buy for a golf monitor. Uh, so this is perfect. It's like $4.99, I think. So, and it's really accurate, folks. Um, I haven't done a review video, but I think my guy George Bryan has done a video. So go check out Brian Bros Golf. He's done one, and obviously he's a pro. So if he's giving it the nod, I think you guys should too. 136, I mean, pretty solid for, I mean, as you guys see, those numbers are pretty good. Like within at least five yards of what I thought they should be, which is plenty good enough for a net in your backyard to get a lot better. Um, so I'm, so wraps it up. Not bad, not bad. Always gotta have gum. Always gotta have that Pedialyte. You know I live in Arizona um, and this Pedialyte, this is very, very essential. Um, it's very dry out here. 
Um, especially in the summers when I play, it's like 110 degrees, 115 degrees, but I'm out there. You gotta stay hydrated, need that salt in your life. And then you guys know also, Lil B, he's always out there with me. He gets dehydrated too, and he loves that Pedialyte. So this is a great way to stay hydrated on the golf course. And I think anybody that's playing golf, if you're not drinking libations, you should be out there drinking that hydration. The water, the Pedialyte, the salt, this is great. So look, you guys know where I'm at right now. Journey to the scratch, you guys saw everything that's in my bag, from the balls, to the shoes, to the clubs. Um, this is what I've been using right now, but I, like I said earlier, I have a very special announcement to make to you guys. I'm gonna make it soon. Um, so ring that bell. You know what I'm saying? For the notifications, hit that like button. Um, also, just subscribe if you haven't yet. This is a dope channel. I think you guys will like it. Um, I'm very relatable out here. So once once I have that new announcement up and ready for you guys, the bag will be changed. But for right now, I know you guys have been looking to see what I have in the bag. You guys have been waiting for that. Y'all been asking me for it. So here it is right here. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next time. Duffles out.